It's a basic hook, and I can rotate the hook like this and lock it. Fred Downs has been wearing the standard prosthetic arm since 1968, after he stepped on a landmine in Vietnam. In those days, they didn't have a lot of sophistication about it. It's just uh, they'd fit you and say, this is your arm, this is your leg, and, and it was the best technology available in those days, and you just had to make yourself learn how to use it, and I did. Today, Downs is the head of prosthetics for the Veterans Administration. This technology has not changed since 1968 or, or even before. It was before. Actually, this arm was basically developed World War II era. These are multi-axis machining centers. Dean Kamen and his team of 40 engineers spent a year working on the problem, but it would be no good at all unless the patients were willing to accept it. Ready to put it on? Okay. Kamen asked Fred Downs to take off the hook he'd been wearing for 40 years and give the new arm a try. Feeling is hard to describe. For the first time in 40 years, my, my left hand did this. <laughs> I almost choke up saying it now. It was just, um, it was such an amazing feeling. I was 23 years old the last time I did that. It felt so good to move my arm again, to do things with it. You just said, move my arm yeah. again. Did it feel like your arm? It all did, of a it did. It felt like my arm. It was me. You sure I can't take this home with me, this arm? I'm ready for this arm. 